Hallelujah. Come on, can we just take a moment wherever you are and just give God some worship, give God some praise. Amen. We are so thankful for who he is in our lives. I don't know about you, but I'm just excited about the Lord's hand over our lives. Amen. Over my life, over your life. And the mere fact that he has been with us, God has been with us all the way. And on this morning, we welcome you to uh, Be Restored Worship Center, our virtual worship experience. And we pray that on today that the Lord meets you where you are. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let all of us exalt his name together, all of us together on one accord, blessing his name wherever we are. We are Be Restored everywhere. And we welcome you into this uh, holy and sanctified moment in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Okay, so we're going to go straight into the word today. Um, if you would not mind going with me to Genesis chapter eight and verse one. Again, that's Genesis chapter eight and verse one. And it says this, and God remembered Noah and every living thing and all the cattle that was with him in the ark. And God made the wind to pass over the earth and the water assuaged. The topic for today is, and God remembered. And God remembered. So we see here that the beginning of this particular verse says, and God remembered Noah. Uh, most of us are, are somewhat familiar with the story of Noah. In chapter six, we find of Genesis, we find that God uh, gives Noah instructions to build an ark. He lets him know, listen, this is what I need you to do. This is how I need you to build. And he gave him specific instructions as the related to what he needed him to do. And mind you, there was no indication that it would even be needed. And, and we know that as Noah built this ark, there were those around him that were talking about him, laughing at him, but Noah kept on building. Uh, chapter seven says that Noah, uh, in chapter seven, Noah had gathered all the animals together. He took his wife and his children and he entered the ark and it began to rain. And the Bible says that the earth flooded. Uh, chapter seven, verse 24 says, and the waters covered the earth for 150 days. So Noah and the animals that he had gathered and his wife and his children were in the ark, right? Just them alone. But we, where we find ourselves now in chapter eight of verse one, it says, and God remembered Noah and all that were with him. So uh, here's the thing that we have to realize is that it may have seemed a little isolated to him. It may have seemed a little crazy in the beginning, but here's the thing. The Bible says that in, verse, in chapter six and in chapter seven, uh, it, it, it always goes back to this. And Noah did as God commanded. So because God did what God commanded in chapter six and chapter seven. Now, Noah, here we are in chapter eight, verse one. It says, and God remembered Noah. Listen, that lets me know that we have to do as God commands us to do. We've got to follow his instructions. It may seem crazy at the moment that God speaks it to us. It may seem impossible when he gives the vision because it's a big thing that he's asking for you to do. But I've come to let you know that because of your obedience to God, he will remember. Come on, right where you are, say, and God remembered, and then put your name there. Whatever your name is, just say, and God remembered. Hallelujah. Put your name right there. And God remembered. 
Here's the thing that in the Bible, when it says that God remembered in the original Hebrew text, it is Zaher and Zaher means it does mean to remember, but it also means to bring someone to mind and then act on their behalf. Zaher, that's a Z A. K-A-R, Zahir. And in the Hebrew, the idea is that when you enter a person's mind, it includes action on behalf of the person that you're thinking about. So here is the thing. At this moment, when it says that, and God remembered Noah, it means that he actively began to work on Noah's behalf. Why? Because it says at that moment, he caused the wind to come over and the water receded. Uh. So some of us may be in a situation where it may seem desolate all around us. It may seem as though you have been forgotten, but I've come to let you know this morning that God is actively working on your behalf, that what it looks like right now, it's not going to look like in a minute because God is remembering you. Come on, say it again. And God remembered and put your name there. God has a way of letting us know that he's with us. See, God never forgot about Noah. Why? Because God gave Noah the instructions and told him what to do. God knew what was going on. So it's not that God forgot about Noah and said, oh, I forgot Noah was over there. God has not forgotten about what you're going through. He sees all, he knows all, but there comes a moment where he starts to actively work on your behalf because he has you in his mind and God remembered go with me to Genesis chapter 21 verse 1 Genesis chapter 21 verse 1 and I'm reading this from the amplified version it says the Lord graciously remembered and visited Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did for her as he had promised. And verse two says this, and Sarah conceived and gave birth to a son for Abraham in his old age at the appointed time of which God had spoken to him. God graciously remembered and not only did he remember but he visited Sarah and he brought to pass everything that he had promised her got one more go with me to Genesis chapter 30 verse 22 and 23 Genesis chapter 30 verse 22 and 23 also reading from the amplified version it says then God remembered the prayers of Rachel and God thought of her and opened her womb so that she would conceive. And verse 23 says, so she conceived and gave birth to a son. And she said, God has taken away my disgrace and my uh, hu humiliation. Listen, you may be in a situation where you feel humiliated. You may feel like God has forgotten about you. You may believe that it's past your time. Listen, don't buy into the lie. Don't entertain the thought that it's too late for you, that it's past, that you're past your prime, or that you're too old to do whatever it is that the Lord has told you to do. If God has made a promise, he is faithful to his word. And at the appointed time, he will actively work it out. So we find here first uh, it's uh, Rachel. Right. So so God blessed Rachel. Right. God uh, blessed Sarah. He remembered both of them. There were promises that were made and God at the appointed time remembered them. So listen, you are not barren. 
You may feel barren. You may feel unproductive. You may feel like you are unfruitful. You may feel like everything that you have attempted to do up to this point has failed. But I come to serve notice on you today. Don't lose hope. Keep your hand in the hand of God and know that he has already done it. All we're doing is waiting for the manifestation of what he has already actively worked out in your favor. Come on, say it again. And God remembered me. Uh, Jeremiah, and I'm going to read this real quick because this gives uh, credence to kind of what we're saying. Uh, in Jeremiah 29 and 11, Jeremiah 29 11 says, for the thought, I, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord thoughts of peace and not of evil to bring you to an expected end. And the Amplified Bible says to give you a future and a hope. He knows what he's doing. He already knows what he has in mind for you. God has you on his mind. And what's going to happen is going to be beautiful for you. What's going to happen is going to yield fruit. What is going to happen is going to bring completeness. What's going to happen is going to give you relevance. Uh, people have, have, have said that you're irrelevant. They've turned their back on you. They've laughed on you for what you have endeavored to do, but don't stop doing what the Lord has commanded if you continue to do what God has commanded you to do, he will remember. He's going to remember you. Uh, why? Because there is an expected in. There's a purpose in. There is a promise that he has made and God will never give up on his promise. He's not going to renege on it. He's not going to take it back. If God made a promise, it shall be done. Oh, this is getting good. Uh, and God remembered. Go with me to Psalms 8, verse 3 and 4. Psalms 8. Verse three and four it says, when I look at the night sky and see the works of your fingers, the moon and the stars set in place. Verse four says this, what are mere mortals that you should think about them? Human beings that you should care for them. And then go down to verse nine. Verse nine says, oh, Lord, our Lord, your majestic name fills the earth. Who am I that you are mindful of me, that you care about me, that you think about me? Isn't it wonderful to know that we serve a God, Yahweh, El Shaddai, Jehovah, Elohim, who looks at us and has us on his mind and will take care of us. Not so much that he just thinks about us, but he is mindful and he takes care of us. Listen, God will take care of you. Through every day, whatever the situation, you got to know that God will take care of you. Why? Because you are on the mind of God. Yes, you, even you. God has you on his mind. Uh, listen, you may feel alone, but you've got to know that God has you on his mind and that because I have that revelation, I can praise him. I can praise his name and allow his name to fill the earth. That's what we've got to do now. In the midst of whatever is going on, you've got to make his name great and let his name fill the earth. Why? Because I already know that he's taking care of me and he's working it out. Let his name Feel the earth. We're going to praise him. Oh, Lord, how majestic is your name in all of the earth. In every single part of the earth, his name is great and greatly to be praised. So in closing, my brother and sister, let's go here to this one last scripture. Deuteronomy chapter 31 
and verse 6. Deuteronomy 31 and 6 says this. Be strong and of a good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. Whatever your them is, don't be afraid. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Listen, you've got to be strong and of good courage. Don't be fearful. Don't be afraid. You've got to know that God is with you in the midst of whatever it is that you're going through. He will never fail you. He will never forsake you. All you've got to do is at all times, put your trust in God. Have faith in God. Hope thou in God. Don't give up and know that he will never leave you nor forsake you. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. I'm going to say it again. Don't give up. Keep your hands in his hand. Uh, one songwriter says, don't give up on God because he won't give up on you. He is able what is he able? He's able to do it. He's able to bring it to pass. And whatever you stand in need of in your life, hope thou in God. Put your confidence in him. Don't put your confidence in man. Don't put your confidence in anything that you have or that you are obtaining at all times. Hope thou in God. God has remembered and again put your name there and god has remembered he is thinking about you he is actively working on your behalf you've got to know that god has already done it and all we're doing in time is waiting to see the manifestation of his remembrance so what he has already actively worked out on your behalf all we're doing is standing still and waiting to see it. I want to see it. I'm going to live to see it. I'm going to live to see every promise that he made uh, to me. I'm going to see it come to pass. I'm going to continue to have hope in him. I'm going to continue to have trust in him. I'm going to continue to do it as he commands, whatever instructions he gives. I've got to do it. Why? Because I want to see him do it. I'm waiting on the manifestation. God made me a promise. God made you a promise. And he shall do it. Just as he did with Noah in the ark. There came a moment when he remembered Noah. And when he remembered him, he began to work on his behalf. The waters subsided. And then eventually they were able to reestablish themselves in the land. God had to clear some things out. He had to move some things out of the way because the other because people were not being obedient. I want to be found doing as God commanded me so that I can reap the blessing of what he's about to do next. Just like Sarah. I want God to bring to pass what he said, what he's promised. Just like Rachel, I'm looking for the day when God remembers my prayers and visits me and does exactly what he says. Listen, here's the thing we've got to understand, too, that there are some generational prayers that are our, our grandmothers and our grandfathers and our mothers prayed on our behalf. There's some intercession that went forth on our behalf 
even at a young age, and God made some promises to, to our grandparents and our forefathers that God bless uh, my seed, bless the, the seed, uh, my seed seed. God do it for them. Make it better than it was for me. Um, and I believe that we are stepping into the season and the time where God is doing exactly what he promised. Just like he did for Abraham, he promised him. He made a promise. And, and, and Abraham lived to see the manifestation of that promise. But then there's also a promise that went from generations to generations based on the promise that God made to Abraham. So I say this to you today. God remembered. God has remembered you. God has you on his mind. Depression, isolation, tragedy, storms, rain, drought, flood, turbulence, it will not win. Opposition will not have the victory over you. Yes, you're going, you may see the flood. You may experience the rain. You may get wet. You may feel isolated. And, and, and the reality is that in some ways you are isolated, but God has you perfectly positioned that you will know it is God and God alone. Because why? In this situation, if God does not do it, it can't be done. But we serve a God who specializes in the things that seem impossible. That when you may you look out and all you see is water, you see no land, you see no possibility. All you have is a promise. You look at your life and see I have not produced. I have not given birth to the things that I thought I was going to give birth to. And I'm past the time. But God is in control. And if he said it, he's going to do it. And you have to, I have to, we have to rest in the fact that God is God and he's going to actively work on your behalf. God, we thank you. God, we bless you that you have remembered us right where we are in our situation. It's not foreign to you. You are all knowing and you have not forgotten about us. God, we thank you that you'll never leave us, that you'll never forsake us. But right where we are, we may have cried last night. We may have cried this morning. We may have felt uh, broken hearted. We may have felt le let down by people and things. We have even endured those that have come against us. But God, we thank you that as we do what you have commanded, you will actively work on our behalf. So God, we thank you for the active work of your hand. We thank you for the active work of your word that as you speak, things begin to happen. God, we thank you for the active work of your spirit that is moving in us and in the earth. God, we thank you for actively moving on our behalf. God, we thank you that you are actively fighting for us. Yes, Lord, you're actively fighting for us. You're actively healing us. You're acti actively redeeming us. You're actively uh, saving us. You're actively lifting up our heads and you're actively giving us joy. So God, today we actively give you praise. We'll make praise. We'll make worship. We'll make thanksgiving an act of our will. And in spite of however we feel, and what we see on the surface, we know that you are working it out on our behalf and we shall see it. We shall live to see it. We'll experience everything that you have promised us. So God, wherever we are right now, I pray that your spirit will bring peace 
to our minds and settle our spirit. And we will have a renewed confidence and assurance in you that you have not forgotten about us. You have not forgotten about our healing. You have not forgotten about our deliverance. You have not forgotten about our salvation. You have not forgot about what's tormented us, but you know and you see. And at the appointed time, we shall see the manifestation of it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. And God remembered. I'm, I'm so excited. I am encouraged that God has not forgot about me. And just as he has remembered Noah, just as he has remembered Sarah, just as he remembered Rachel, he has remembered Micah. Mm, he has remembered so just put your name there. Listen, um, those of you that are that are tuning in, wherever you are watching this, listen, the Lord is available to you. And wherever you are, listen, you don't have to feel alone. You don't have to feel uh, like there is no hope. But the Lord Jesus Christ and his salvation is available to you today. And he is with you every step of the way. Listen, if you if you just say, I, I want to be saved, or I need somewhere to belong, I need to connect to a ministry, I need to connect with some people that can pray me through and help build me up in the faith. Listen, Be Restored Worship Center is available to you today. Listen, it's not about uh, us, but it's all about God. And I believe that this is a place that you can connect to and grow in him. Even if you're not connecting with us, connect with the Savior. Believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and you are saved. It's simply that simple. And listen, if you believe that today or you need someone to walk you through that, listen, send us a message on Facebook. Send us a message on Instagram, inboxes. If you need some prayer, just reach out to us and we have you. But it is our desire that no one be lost, but that everyone comes into the knowledge of who God is and the work of his son, Jesus, and experiences his Holy Ghost and the infilling of his Holy Ghost and the manifestation of that work in your life. That's what it's all about. So I pray today that you have received him, that you have received this word and you can say, Lord, I am encouraged to go further with you. Amen. Just say that one more time. And God remembered me. Hallelujah. Listen, also, if you uh, feel so inclined today to sow into this ministry, uh, we are endeavoring to do a work for the Lord here. It's good ground. Uh, you can cash up us at dollar sign BRWC on Givelify or PayPal at Be Restored Worship Center. Or you can go to berestored.net and the options to give will be there. And listen, if you need to connect with us and say, I want to be a part of Be Restored Everywhere, or I need some prayer, or I want to receive salvation, you can go to Instagram. We are Be Restored there. On Twitter, Be underscore Restored. Or right here on Facebook, we are Be Restored Worship Center. And go to, or go to our YouTube page. And we are Be Restored Global Worship. Listen, we are endeavoring to be restored everywhere and see restoration everywhere. So we want to meet you exactly where you are. And God is available to you wherever you are. So we pray that you have a blessed day and you have a blessed week and you uh, experience God remembering you this week and we look forward to seeing you back here at be restored worship center again on next week we love you with the love of the lord amen go in peace we love you god bless you